Good to see you, Tom. We decided to do a little something different. Rather than, you know, take a question from one of our viewers, we asked you to come up with scams that are out there, the top five where people are scamming seniors, and it's it's really interesting what you've come up with here. Yeah. Why don't we just kind of check them off the list? Health care, Medicare, health insurance fraud. That's an amazing uh, statistical information that I found. It's amazing what scammers are doing. They're posing as Medicare representatives, and they're trying to obtain, bottom line, mm -hmm. they're trying to obtain personal information over the phone. Right. And so they're calling up. Uh, they've got the lingo down. They're uh, persuading them to disclose information because they're posing as a Medicare representative. Right. And they're gaining this vital information from seniors who think they're talking to the government. Of course. And they're not. And, and, they're, and it's, uh, according to the FBI, it's a huge problem that is becoming more and more and more prevalent because we've got an aging population. Right. So right. it is, it is uh, from Medicare, even health insurance. Uh, the health insurance part of this, they are posing as a health insurance provider mm -hmm. and they've either found out what coverage they have or what company they have, which that hacked data is out there available. Sure it is. And then they make those phone calls. Anthem just experienced that. And so now we don't know where that all that data goes. So right. very major problem right. healthcare let's go to number two here counterfeit prescription drugs how's that work well I mean it it's usually over the internet seniors are trying to what save, save money. money they're trying to save money so they're going on the internet so they get a they get a counterfeit internet website set up to take their vital information they take credit card information they take uh, checking and routing information they gather all that information in and then they either just take the money from them and they're gone, right. or they actually send them counterfeit uh, prescriptions that are not necessarily yeah. uh, a reputable prescription. You see those all the time. We can save you money on your drugs. That possibly could be very That's counterfeit. That's exactly right. All right, now this one, funeral and cemetery scams. Uh, believe it or not, there are people that prey on widows and widowers. Oh, I believe it. And we've got quality funeral homes here in the Ozarks, thank goodness. Yeah. They, they can help seniors prevent things like uh, the funeral, the typical funeral scams where they're trying to sell prepaid funerals right. over the phone, things like that. This is something our, different. Our though. local companies do a good job of helping our seniors. Right. The problem with this scam and what has popped up to the FBI is people are either showing up at the visitation or at a funeral claiming that old Tom owed me some money and I'd like to collect or can I give you my information, can you send me a check? He owed me $100 and I was just talking to him a couple of weeks ago and they're trying to get the widows and it's working to sit down, take their information and either pay them on the spot or send them the money in the mail. All right. And Lord forbid they give them a credit card. Oh, yeah. Oh. Right. All right. Fraudulent anti-aging products. Yeah, they're everywhere. A <laughs> hundred million dollars a year is lost to seniors in this particular category. Uh -huh. I was shocked about what I saw here. Seniors want to look younger. Sure. So they're going on the internet, they're buying products to make them look better, which I'm sure there's quality products out there with reputable companies, but there's a few of them out there that aren't any, according to the research, there's no magic bullet it's, out it's there. It's no better than, than warm <laughs> butter. Yeah. So seniors have got to watch for that. A hundred million dollars a year is being lost to that. Okay, here's another one. Then. This, the grandparent scam. Of the top five, this was the one that shocked me the most. Yeah. I can't imagine somebody not recognizing a family member on the phone, but in today's age where we have cell phones and sometimes we don't have good coverage and you can't quite make it out who it is, they call up and they say, hey, Grandma, guess who it is? And then she, they let them guess. Mm -hmm. Is this Billy? Is this Tommy? Yeah, hey, I'm in trouble. Don't tell my mom and dad, but I need some money. Could you send me some money? With all the social media and all the online information that is out here, it's very easily easy for a, uh, a scammer to find out a lot of information. 
uh, where this child's going to school, if they're yeah. out of state, and then they try to get money out of them and have them send it to an address.